This 10 News Pinpoint Weather Report is sponsored by Anderson Plumbing, Heating and Air. Nobody wows clients like we do. 10 News Pinpoint Weather Anchor Jen Della Cruz joining us now. How are we looking this weekend, Jen? So definitely not the abundant sunshine that we love here in San Diego, but very much a gray May gray situation. And we do have some low clouds hanging out in Alpine. Can't really see much from our live camera right now. It's been pretty overcast, especially for our coastal areas today and into the inland valleys as well. Mountains have seen a little bit of sunshine, but overall very mild conditions, much cooler than where we were yesterday. Over the next couple of hours, temperatures are going to hang out in the low 60s for the coastal areas and for the inland valleys as well. So if you are stepping out for the evening, I definitely would keep a jacket handy. We do have a wind advisory already in place, and that's going to take us through 5 a.m. Monday. This is for the mountains and the deserts. So those winds out of the west up to about 25 miles per hour to 35 for our sustained winds, gusting though up to 60 miles per hour. So breezy conditions there, and we do have a chance of showers pushing in starting tonight. Nothing that's going to be heavy though, but definitely that chance is there. As we see in our future cast, this is 9 o'clock for tonight. Light widespread rain uh, overall pretty, pretty mild here, and that's going to transition into some more widespread rain for early tomorrow morning. Cloudy conditions for most of the day tomorrow. We're not talking an all day rain event, but that chance for some very light drizzle. Just a couple sprinkles is there. So tomorrow 930 couple light sprinkles places like Escondido and Poway as we get into the afternoon. Not as much activity for our coastline and for the inland valleys, but isolated sprinkles may pop up for our mountain areas. Desert should stay clear with this system. Early Monday morning, more drizzle there, and that should be clearing out nicely into the afternoon as we transition into high pressure with more sunshine returning for Tuesday into Wednesday and Thursday. High temperature for tomorrow is going to be relatively cool. 64 at the coast with a shower activity. Inland Valley, 66 there, 52 for the mountains. 81 tomorrow, lots of sunshine for the desert, so if that's your jam, definitely head east. Otherwise, we're going to see a good amount of cloud coverage for our coastal communities for tomorrow. Hour by hour at the coast for tomorrow, starting out with some sprinkles. Drying out into the afternoon, but we're not going to see a ton of sunshine. Overall, pretty mild conditions, overcast skies, similar to what we saw for today. For the inland valleys, starting out with some drizzle there, clearing out into the afternoon, but that cloud coverage will stay with us for tomorrow, so not a ton of sunshine. As far as our totals go, the system is going to be very light for our coastal areas and our inland valleys, up to about a tenth of an inch. Mountain areas may see up to about a third of an inch, so overall very light rain. Late showers do start tonight, and then we start to clear out Tuesday into Wednesday, with temperatures bumping up as we get into next weekend. Seven day forecast looks good after we get through Monday into Tuesday. More sunshine in the 70s return by Wednesday, and we're going to look really nice as we head into next weekend. For the inland valleys, on and off, very, very light showers for tomorrow. Better clearing on Monday. The rest of the week looks pretty good. For the mountain areas, that wind advisory is still in effect, and that's going to take us through early Monday morning. Clearing out after that, temperatures hanging out above where they should be for this time of year by the end of the week. Desert communities will see lots of sunshine, 97 degrees on Tuesday, Vanessa. So if you want to mm -hmm. see sunshine for the next couple of days, definitely got to go to the deserts. Yeah, or wait it out. All right, yeah. thanks, Jen.